Hello dear students and dear friends our today's topic is a medicinal compound which is called as phenytoin which is abbreviated as PHT so PH is taken from this and T is taken from this so it is PHT this is the structure for phenytoin now one important point is that this compound is used as anti-epileptic drug in the treatment of tonic-clonic seizure which is also called as grand mal epilepsy where there is the contraction of the muscles and secondly it is used in the treatment of focal seizure which in which the affected area is the hemisphere of the brain that is half part of the human brain the second use of phenytoin is as class 1b anti arrhythmic agent so this drug is also find its utility in treatment of some arrhythmic conditions including tachycardia now let's look at the IUPAC name of this compound here we find that here is the presence of a five membered heterocyclic ring so though it is heterocycle our numbering will be start with this nitrogen so it is number one this is two three four and this will be number five so nomenclature can be given in two ways if we consider this whole nucleus so this whole nucleus is given the name hydantoin so on hydantoin at position number 5 there is presence of two phenyl rings C6H5 is nothing but phenyl so the IUPC name of this compound can be written as 5,5 diphenyl hydantoin. The second way of the nomenclature is to use the heterocyclic ring system over here. So the heterocycle present here is imidazolidin ring. It is a saturated ring. So the name given to this ring system is imidazolidin. In imidazolidin ring, there is presence of three substituents. One at position number two, one at position number four, and two substituents are present at position number five. So on five, we have presence of two phenyl rings. So we will call it five comma five diphenyl. The basic nucleus is imidazolidine. This double bond O is considered as on a ketone. So, imidazolidine is now suffixed with on. So, these two oxo groups are present at position number 2 and at position number 4. So, imidazolidine is now suffixed with 2 comma 4 dion. So, this name will be 5 5 diphenyl imidazolidine 2 4 dion. So, both the names can be the IUPC names for phenytoin. Next, we move on to the mechanism of action of this compound, which is very important one in view of the examination. The mechanism of action of this compound include inhibition of voltage dependent sodium channels in case of epilepsy 
there is excessive firing of the neurons due to excessive entry of the sodium ions. So to, for the treatment of epilepsy, it is general approach to inhibit the sodium channels so that the excessive firing of the neurons can be stopped on. So the phenytoin is found to inhibit the voltage dependent sodium channel and this inhibition leads to inhibition of firing of neurons. So when the excessive firing of neuron is inhibited, the epilepsy may get treated. So that is a very simpler mechanism of action of this compound. Next we move on to the synthesis of this compound. For synthesis, our starting material is benzyl Here instead of C6H5, I wrote here its symbol PH. PH simply stands for phenyl. That is nothing but C6H5 group. So the starting material is benzyl. The benzyl is treated with 30% NaOH in presence of ethanol. The ethanol can be written as ETOH where ET stands for ethyl group. So ethyl with OH is ethanol. The reaction takes place with 30% NaOH and ethanol. The second part which is included in the reaction is Urea. So the reaction between benzyl and urea in presence of 30% NaOH and ethanol. So if we look at the role of NaOH, it simply liberates the hydroxide ions which abstract these protons from the urea. Uh, urea is a very weak nucleophile. So for its better reaction with the carbonyl groups on the benzene, sorry benzyl, it is needed that the hydroxy group must abstract the proton so that the negative charge will be developed over the nitrogens and both the nitrogens then can be Behave, can behave as a strong nucleophile. So ultimately the reaction between benzyl and urea leads to formation of a intermediate which has this structure. This compound is called as 4,5-dihydroxy-4,5-diphenyl-imidazolidine-2-on. If we look at this product, we can find that simply the nitrogens of the urea get added onto the carbonyl carbon of the benzyl. So this reaction is nucleophilic addition reaction which gives formation of this intermediate species which will play a very important role in formation of phenytoin. So this derivative then treated with Concentrated hydrochloric acid. 
which gives the H plus ions from here. Now this H plus ion will move on to one of the hydroxy group. So there is reaction between H plus and this OH ion. So there is removal of a water molecule by this interaction. So when hydroxy group react with this proton, it tends to take this electron pair of this bond with itself into the water molecule. So ultimately this bond then will be broken down and there is release of this water molecule. Then this carbon then acquire a positive charge. So it will become a carbocation to fulfill the requirement of electrons of this carbon, this phenyl group will migrate over this carbon. So when this migration takes place, one of these bond will get broken down. So when this bond is broken down, the carbon tends to make a double bond with this oxygen. So for making the bond between the carbon, this oxygen lose this proton from here. So there is removal of a proton. So removal of proton and migration of phenyl over to this carbon will lead to give us the compound which has this structure. So this compound is called as phenytoin. Phenytoin can be used as such for the treatment into its oral doses form. But when there is need of its injectable form, the phenytoin is gets converted into its salt which is called as phenytoin sodium. So for conversion of phenytoin to its salt form, the phenytoin is treated with sodium ethoxide. If we look at the structure of phenytoin, we find that this NH is present between two strong electron withdrawing carbonyl groups. So this hydrogen may migrate over the oxygen of this carbonyl group to give us a tautomeric structure. So here we have a tautomeric form. like this now this tautomeric form consists of this hydroxyl group which is obtained by migration of the proton from this nitrogen to this oxygen so being alcoholic in nature this is quite acidic so this will liberate the proton from here to this ethoxy group and there is release of C2H5OH that is ethanol molecule is released out while this sodium ion then will migrate over to the oxygen to give us the corresponding sodium salt of phenytoin which is called as phenytoin sodium. So dear friends that is all about the preparation of phenytoin and its conversion to phenytoin sodium. 
Thanks for watching the video. Please like it, share it, and please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.